singing and praising the Lord. The faithful gather to pray. They are here to learn about their religion. Though of different backgrounds and age, they have one thing in common. Nearly everyone in this room used to be a Muslim. Pastor Hazim is the man who runs the Kurdsman church. He says peace and love made nearly 400 Muslims in Erbil convert to join his Christian evangelical church. We teach people to live in peace and coexist together. And that's Jesus' message to humanity. Under Islam, change in religion is prohibited, and some have used this to kill people. It's a controversial issue, and many Muslim scholars here blame the conversions on the influx of Christian evangelicals. And Sheikh Karim is one of them. He says since 1991, when Saddam Hussein lost his grip on the Kurdish North, evangelicals, as well as other missionaries, came to the area under different names, trying to spread Christianity. Those who did it have no religion in the first place, or did it to get benefit, like a sum of money, or to take them outside the region of fine work. But deep down, they don't believe in it. Converts, however, says this is nonsense. It's not true, especially the talk of luring the youth. We don't give money to anyone. Pastor Hazim says his church gets financial aid, but it does not pay anyone to convert. We give gifts, but we don't have a safe or bank account, or give monthly amounts to people. The Kurdish regional government says it's keeping a careful eye on the situation. I don't think the number has reached hundreds. It's individual cases, maybe just tens of people. But if these cases spread and become a phenomenon that threatens the society and beliefs of people, it will be dangerous. Other Christians are concerned that the controversy could become violent. I think it's uh, put it, putting us at odds with our neighbours here. Um, it's going to lead to conflict which we don't need. We're, we're finding it hard enough to survive here in this country without evangelicals coming over and putting us at odds with our neighbours. In other parts of Iraq, Christians have been targeted and fear of more conflict is a grim reality. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Erbil, Northern Iraq.